survivor for 10 years now, and she works diligently to help heighten cancer prevention and awareness. It's my pleasure to bring up to the stage Roz Verona. And my sidekick, my daughter, Sarah Jans, who comes everywhere with me. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for inviting us back. This is the fourth year that we've done this. Um, this is becoming my own new tradition, and I have the Haggadahs to prove it. I've saved every one of them. Um, you know, we were going to start by talking a little bit about why Passover is our favorite holiday, but Sarah, I just changed the plan. Okay. Based on what Michael just said, I wanted to share with you a story when Sarah was very young, you were second, third grade, inclusive, colorblind, and all of these wonderful things that Michael just talked about. So here it is October, she's having a birthday party, and I said, if you've met any new friends that you want to invite to this party, just let me know and we'll include them. And so she was trying to describe this one friend. You know where I'm going with this, right? And I said, okay, well, we're, we're, we, it was a bowling party, so we're at the bowling alley. And I said, um, what does she look like? So I can, I can find her. And she said, well, she's about my height. Um, she's got long, curly, dark hair. And I'm like, okay. The one thing that she didn't say is that the little girl was African American. Because that's not how Sarah describes people. Because that's not what I taught her. And to this day, I really love telling that story because she makes me very proud. And that's why I bring her to events like this with me, because we can share this with all of you and make this our own tradition. Why is Passover your favorite holiday? Always because of the matzo ball soup. Always. Okay. Besides the matzo ball soup. What's the matzo ball soup? No, come on. <laughs> Seriously. Mm, second, family. Okay. But also, it's a tradition. tradition. I thought she was going to say the Akinomi, but we're not going to go there. And it is our tradition. So we're going to start by reading together the prayer to light the candles. First we'll read it in Hebrew and then I'll read it in English. Ready? Okay. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kishanu bidu mitzvotav nitzivanu lahad l'ner shel yom tov. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who makes us holy with your commandments and commands us to light the festive lights. Amen. May these candles remind us that we must help and not hurt, cause joy and not sorrow, create joy and not destroy, and help all to be free. May those we nurture light the world with Torah and good deeds. May your light surround us always. Let's light those candles. They're lit. Thank you, everybody. I'm delighted to invite.